Today I'm teaching you and I'm showing you how to completely get rid of any lag in The Sims 4 on your computer. Warning, this is gonna make your game really smooth. That's what we want. The first recommendation that I can give you and that worked wonders for me is stop using OneDrive. If OneDrive is fundamental to you and you really back up important files there, I totally get it. But there are certain cases where you just don't need it at all and you have it running in the background and this is causing so much lag, let me tell you. Right now, for me, it's disabled, but you can also quit OneDrive from this. And it also says right over here, if you close OneDrive, your OneDrive folder won't sync with your files. If you choose to close it, it will no longer show up right over here when you click this little arrow. You are going to notice in your task manager that your components or your resources aren't as solicited, aren't as, aren't as needed as they were before. So if any component over here, CPU, memory, disk or GPU has a very high percentage, that's why your game is laggy so we need to fix that do not close any apps that are fundamental to your system like windows or whatever you're using because we need those second of all as control alt delete if you're on windows go to task manager and see what apps are using the most of your resources because those let me tell you are going to cause lags for me it's the sims 4 but i want to use it right now so what do i do i have also google chrome which is also taking up like a lot of memory so i'm just gonna end the task if i don't need to use it right now if it's not fundamental i'm gonna end it we also have this windows explorer we also have this windows widget which i don't currently use what else we have microsoft edge which although it's closed it shows up right over here i'm gonna close it and you can see that our memory dropped down a little bit these things that are weirdly cold those have to do with your system so we don't want to mess with those but close any kind of apps that are necessary for you right now while you're playing the game thing that i want you to do to have your sim extremely smooth to get rid of any lagging or lag in the sims is to have your system as clean as possible what does that mean it means that we are in a blue line and we don't have a lot of junk files because if you go into your downloads you might have a lot of downloads that you no longer need photos that you no longer need from some projects maybe maybe some cc that you did unsave but you forgot to delete so really take a look at your downloads and figure out what is taking up the most of my space because you can right click on downloads go to properties and see how many gigabytes or megabytes that folder has the same thing for desktop you can right click on it properties that is a lot 89 gigabytes but i pile up so much stuff over there because i want it to be accessible you can clean that if you don't have mandatory files that really need to be on your computer i'm pretty sure that you can find a few files here and there that you no longer need and deleting those will really make a difference another thing is have at least 80 gigs free of space for me a great indicator of how my game is going to run is having this blue line right i like to have at least 50 gigs but if you have 80 gigs you are top tier let me tell you another thing that i really like to do is to exit my game because for this we're gonna need to have our app closed open up my ea app or origin app if you have the origin app i have the tutorial for that right over here click on these three dashes go to help go to app recovery this doesn't mean that we are going to recover our app this means that we are clearing the cache so you might have heard of cache files right those are on browsers those are temporary files that get piled up and we don't need those because they are just somewhere in the background doing their job and so we need to refresh them from time to time so i'm just gonna clear cache by the way make sure you know your credentials before doing this 
because it might log you out. In our case, we're going to reconnect to the EA app and it prompted us back to our account. Make sure you know your credentials in any case. The next thing that we are going to do is clear our game's cache. So again, do this with the game closed and we're going to go into our documents, electronic cards, the Sims 4, find this file which is called local thumb cache or local thumb cache dot package. It is the same file. So we're going to press on it, press delete. Don't worry if it shows up after opening the game because it's normal. It's going to be regenerated every single time we play the game. If you've just updated the game, I want you to do this. Open your mods folder. Make sure you have all of your mods up to date. If you know that you've updated your game, but you have some mods, right of its ear and you're wondering oh are still those good they're probably not so i really want you to type in ts4 script in this search bar okay i misspelled it okay ts4 script i want you to write down their names on a piece of paper or or, or in your note tab and then i want you to select every single ts4 script file and delete it. I just press delete. And then you can go once again and search the name of those mods individually so that we can make sure that there are no other files besides those. So we need to delete any additional files that have the same name as the mods that we've deleted. Some mods also end with package, not only with script. So that's why we are doing to identify every single mod file and to get rid of it. And then we can obviously find the latest versions and put them back into the mods folder. After doing this process of cleaning our mods, I highly suggest you delete that local tom cache once again another thing that has tremendously helped me is clicking on these three dashes and then going offline for some reason going offline having the wi-fi turned off having the bluetooth turned off just makes my game a lot smoother and then going to options game options other and disabling any online features and applying changes this is going to make your game a lot smoother. You can re-enable those online features if you want to be able to obviously access the gallery because with the offline features turned off, you can only see your library. So if you're wondering why you cannot access your gallery, it's because you've disabled your online features. So we're going to re-enable them and then we have our gallery back to normal. Another thing that I practice a lot is, is cutting my files and pasting them onto an external drive. So if you have an external drive and if you have any files that can be stored there that you don't necessarily need to have on your computer, you can do that. You can basically make your storage be in the green line by transferring files. Last but not least, I also like to do a defragment and optimize drives. From time to time, this is basically going to organize your files in a way that they operate at their fullest potential. We can optimize it and then we're good to go. This has worked wonders for me. Hopefully you learned something new in this video and I will see you very, very soon with a brand new video.